I thought I'd try something new. Um, actually connect my phone to my GoPro, which is super rad. Um, but I am going to stop up here and check it out because I, I think I can view it from my screen. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm going to stop up here for a little bit. Probably right up here at Primeville Reservoir with boat ramp or anything. Or something. Or up here. But this is the really middle section but it is um, if I was to go the other way going behind me that road stays paved for quite a while and then it turns into gravel and then goes all the way out to highway 20 and uh, so that's kind of the start of it uh, you believe I don't think there's any other 27 goes past uh, highway 20 but uh, maybe it does. I'm not. I'm not too sure. I was more interested in heading north on it. So this is kind of the start of the north way. So yeah. there is tons of signs saying that there's cows out here. So be on the lookout for the new cows. This is some of just a, a beautiful views that Oregon gets to see, or that you get to see in Oregon, uh, at least Central Oregon. This is dropping into uh, Prineville Reservoir, uh, kind of the, uh, the dam side. Uh, also back behind me, south, you can go to the back side of Prineville, which is, which is super cool. Uh, I used to go camping there all the time when I was younger. Uh, yeah, pretty fun. just saw that a guy was posting this, this on the GoPro um, he was using his phone and I was like oh dude that is so smart I completely forgot about that about that at all Wi-Fi to my GoPro to my phone or Bluetooth power power it works and uh, yeah but I can just uh, watch and see and I know there's a way to view what you're videoing uh, on my phone so I'm gonna like I said stop up here probably up by this truck maybe a little bit further and uh, uh, play with it for a sec and see what I can see what I can do again this water is super high uh, haven't seen this in years it's super cool pull up up over here another turnout right up here I think uh, if not I can stop on the other side of the dam I think there's a turnout right up here uh, mess around with that there's kind of a the lake yeah there he is so bear with me while I uh, check out how to how to see what I'm actually videotaping Checking out, getting some fishing on. So this is the, the Primeville Reservoir Dam. Super cool. This road is so much fun to go down. Um, we'll just uh, peek up over here. No cars are coming. That's the dam area. You can go all the way down. Uh, but this road follows the river all the way back into, into Primeville. It just uh, goes through this canyon down here, and it's just it's just super, super, super pretty. Uh, last video I did, I don't know if I'll publish it, but I I uh, I think I said pretty probably a thousand times. Well, maybe not a thousand, but a whole bunch of times. I'll try to refrain from the word pretty. Maybe I'll use a uh, word of the day. It's how about beautiful? How about that? Yeah. I should go check out that road down there. Or I should just watch the road and ride the motorcycle down the road. Bear. 
right, let's go check it out. Well, that is just amazing technology. And I'll, uh, I'll try to stay on the road. There we go. So now you guys aren't just looking at my uh, at my screen. You can now see. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. So this is what I wanted to show you all was just this little canyon down here. Um, such a pretty, pretty, pretty drive. There's these rock formations are so cool. Um, yeah. I'll uh, quit looking and try to stay on the road. How about that? And there's uh, tons of, uh, there's, well, I don't know how many there was, but there's tons of little campgrounds all down through here that I'm going to hit up this summer. Um, probably stay a night or two or something, bring up and just. I haven't moto, so moto camp yet. That's what I want to do. Is uh, I should just be able to go out and moto camp. You know, head out for a weekend or uh, a weekday and check it out. Yeah, like I was saying, there's tons of camping sites down through here. I'm sure they're they're pretty busy. They're they're I believe they're first come first serve is what I saw. Came down here a few uh, about a month or so ago and I was kind of checking it out. And, trying to actually use my footage, uh, use my GoPro, and, and uh, found out that my media mic wasn't working and all that good stuff, so I had to, had to do some re -improvising. So hopefully with this footage, um, it actually works, and you can actually hear me. That would be fun and amazing. I think this little rock right up here, uh, you can just see the tip of it probably maybe be able to show it to you with my 360. Um, I think it's called Chimney Rock, I, I believe. But... Yeah, that that's the tip of the rock that I was talking about there. That chimney rock there. Very, very pretty through here, especially today. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Like, sun's out, weather's just perfect. 60 degrees, yeah, blue skies. You can't ask for much more. And it says road close ahead, so let's see how far how far the road is closed. We might have to uh, reroute everything. No, I think it's that road. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I think they're uh, repaving this whole this uh, campsite, another campsite down here. But, Here's some of the views. Oh gosh, so, so cool. Sorry, I'm trying not to get you guys dizzy with me going back and forth looking. And, but I do have to try to keep an eye on the road. When I uh, get up here, out of the canyon, I'll, I'll shut it back off and I'll jump back on when I get through Primeville. And yeah. But as for now, let's just enjoy this view, this scenery. Man. So rad. So, so cool. Maybe if you get out in a car and drive this, it, it's super cool, but 
I would highly, highly recommend it on a motorcycle because it's just way cooler. And just, what I like about being on a bike is you just look around. I mean, you just anywhere you look, you're wide open. You smell the fresh air. You feel the wind. Uh, yeah, pretty rad. There's another little camp site down here which this one's kind of cool because it drops down even closer to the water or to the river down there and that's Cricket River that one's pretty cool I was looking at the map earlier and I noticed that there's a bunch of roads up on top <coughs> of this plateau up here that I want to go check out go right up there on top come down just the different layers of the rock and, and how they were obviously blown away to make this road but how they were formed on the inside it's pretty dang rad maybe they weren't blown away but I'm pretty sure they had to chisel some of this away sprung in central Oregon. It's given us a couple fault springs um, throughout this year. In April and not so much in May but in April and even shoot all the way into through winter there was a few days that were nice and warm. We got out on the bike and got to ride but for the most part it's been a long long winter and spring so super excited for summer to get here to go do some moto camping and Cool to hear this big canyon and all these big rocks. Yeah. Anybody's a fly fisherman, this is, uh, like I said earlier, the Crooked River. You get really good fly fishing in through here. Um, I can honestly say I've never had success, but I'm not a very good fly fisherman. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool lake or river. Not very far, not very long, but I highly, highly suggest that if you are in Central Oregon and you've never been down this road, take a look at it. Pretty cool. Go up to uh, Prineville Reservoir out of Prineville, head north, and uh, yeah, get to see, see this again in person. But I'm gonna videotape here a little bit further until it gets into a, a more farmland, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut it off and get to Prineville. And, start recording when I get, get some other cooler places. arches or these uh, rock right here they're super cool and then this little rock that we're gonna go through over here I don't know where I'm pointing at really in my camera but huh. just the beauty in it very pretty turn this guy on I said I could uh, use my phone but I gotta get out my app, then I can't see my maps, but it's still rad. That big old rock poking out of the mountain, dude. It's 
super cool. This guy doesn't have any tail lights. And this is where it kind of gets fun. We'll see, uh, like I said, how far I, up I can go. Um, my guy app still shows that there's there's a bit of snow up here, maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping that the my, the app isn't isn't right. But if it is, you know what? We uh, we'll turn around and come back and maybe find some dirt roads that don't have as as much snow on them. And here, last time I was up, there's just people just camping all up around here, pulling off on the road right next to this little creek was not a creek last time we came I came through here so <laughs> this means we're having some good good snow melt good snow runoff so I figure I would uh, show this little little valley the little canyon that it's going through short little clip <laughs> 